Thank you so much, Tucker. Well, it's no secret Thanksgiving is the biggest travel day of the year. And let's face it, vacations are a lot more fun when we share it with our four-legged friends. And we are finding out exactly what we need to know before hitting the road from pet expert Dana Humphrey. Good morning, Dana. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having us. And I have to say, just like us, <laughs> pets require a lot of prep and planning if we're oh, going to take absolutely. them on the road, right? So what are the must-haves that we need to think about? Well, as we're gearing up for Thanksgiving, if you want to bring Fido or Fluffy or Abby <laughs> or, um, Ozzy. or Ozzy, you definitely want to make sure that you're well prepared um, and, and not to stress out. So pr plan in advance. Um, you definitely want to have a great travel bag, mm -hmm. um, whether you're flying by air, by car, by sea, by train. This travel bag is by Sturdy Products. Um, it's great. Let's see if Abby will go in here for us. Okay. Abby, and we check said, it out. And we said Ozzy because Abby was adopted <laughs> as Abby, but then the kids renamed it to Ozzy. Right. And so. it's all about adoption. And look at that. Abby, Ozzy just Aww, goes right in there. She loves, she loves it. it. Here she comes, <laughs> peeking her head out. Now, but this what, is flex height, so it fits under the seat in front of you. Okay. Also, it's really important to bark buckle up. Whether you're traveling in a taxi, in a car, right. in an airplane, you want to make sure that you can actually buckle your pet in and not have them free, running free see, in the I car. I think a lot of people don't think about that because when we get the dog in the car, we just let them roam around, sit in the back seat. But you're saying when you hit the road or airplane or whatever, make sure they are buckled in. Absolutely. What do you think about those straps, the harnesses that go on the actual seat? Yep, a uh, harness strap is great to have. Um, we actually have a harness here that cats can wear oh. and walk around with. Um, but any kind of harness or buckling in device mm -hmm. is very safe for dogs or cats um, when you're traveling on the road. Okay. Great idea to have. Okay, now what are some other things? Is she comfortable in there? Yeah, she's, she's <laughs> chilling in there. Okay. She's good to go. <laughs> All right. Well, something that you want to be aware of is that um, over 2 million dogs are stolen every year. Oh, yeah. That's more than one every single day in major mm -hmm. cities across the country. You definitely want to check out the safe spot locking leash. Um, this is actually a steel wire. Um, that goes around you, just put around your dog's neck. If you're running in for a coffee or if you're on a road trip, you can actually lock your pet to the steering that wheel. If it's for a quick trip, run inside, grab your coffee, come back, and you know your pet is going to be right. safe. We lock our bikes, why not our pets? Exactly, yeah. exactly. So you definitely can check that out for safety. What do you think, Abby? Okay, here she Ozzy's comes. like, I've had enough. <laughs> All right. Some, come here, come here. And something else, um, if you're between baths, you definitely want to keep your pet smelling fresh while yes. you're on the go. Um, this is by Dog Fashion Spa. These are really gentle um, eye wipes. And see, Abby has a little, the goop, little the, goop going yeah. on there. Let's see if she'll, she'll give it a go here. Abby, what now, do you Now, do these work better than the traditional just, you know, getting a wet paper towel or a baby wipe and just kind of well, wiping it down? A baby wipe's always a good idea, but if you don't have a sink or you don't have a paper towel, you can just grab one of these and, and you're all set. Oh, Abby, what do you think? She's like, I like my goop. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll try that again later. Okay. But another way to combat the smell factor is the critter zone. Um, and this is actually something, it's right here. It's a device that you can actually plug into the car. It has oh. a car adapter. Um, and it gets rid of all the odor um, from dogs to cat odor to stinky feet or whatever kind oh, of yeah. smells you have, you have going kids. on. They leave all kinds of funk yes. in the car. Yeah. It actually just lifts that smell right out of the air Great. and purifies it for you so you don't have to deal with it. Now cats, um, what can we do with cats? Because I know when I sometimes drive I see cats chilling on the back in the, yeah. uh, the back seat there. So cats but you love the sun and they love the height. Yeah. So it might be comfortable for your cat back there but it's not too safe. Um, a bag like this is great for small dogs or cats and again you can just buckle them right in. So it's a safer option. Okay. Um, also, you know, your pet could get sick in the car. Cats um, are, are known to get sick right. while traveling. So you definitely want to keep them contained um, and great for evacuation. In yeah. case there's any kind of emergency, you know that they're safely contained inside. And as always, of course, treats are a good thing to take with you, Sarah and Melanie. Remember that for your cats. Take lots of treats. Yes. <laughs> work. They just get, they just <laughs> right. get sick because they don't like Sarah, traveling I wonder how this harness would work on cats. I don't think cats like to be confined. No. Uh, no. That's been tried as well. Right. <laughs> Not by me. No. Someone else in the house may have tried it because they thought it was funny. Right. Yeah. Well, they didn't Sarah like that and I have both confessed to sort of being bad <laughs> cat owners with the travel rules. We just kind of... I know. Yes. Well, they want to do their own thing. Yeah. Cats like that sense of freedom. I know. They just stay behind. They'll take care of the house for That's us. That's right. All right.